This is a math book I have. It's called A First Undergraduate Course in Abstract Algebra. It's the second edition. It's by Hellman and Alexanderson. It's a nice solid cover. Very nice. Let's open it up. I'm going to give it a whiff here, smell it, see what it smells like. Mmm, it's nice. Let's see what we can see in this book. Nice. Old book, I'm going to guess 80s, 70s. I don't recall the age. I think it's from the 80s. A first undergraduate course in abstract algebra, second edition. Wadsworth Publishing Company, Inc., Belmont, California. And then, oh, yep, 70s. 1973, and then this would be 1978. So this one is from... 1978, pretty cool, and it's an abstract algebra book you can use to learn. It starts with the integers, goes on to groups. So you could learn abstract algebra using a book like this. Now, in order to learn abstract algebra, you do need to know how to prove things, so that would be the biggest thing I think that could keep you from using this book to learn is that you might have trouble with the proof structure, but once you get past that, it's pretty good. Hints or solutions for most odd numbered problems. I like that. Let's, let's just jump there right away. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty good. Most of the odd numbered problems have hints or solutions. That's very helpful for someone who is trying to use a book for self-study. That's really good. Yeah, it's not everything, but it's almost half, right? So you have lots of good exercises. Look at all of these exercises here. Wow. Wow, tons of problems. Nice. Just got to give it another whiff here. It smells... Ah, incredible. But yeah, um, a book to learn abstract algebra from. Good luck.